So should you pick at your scabs? Well, this is a tricky question, and the best answer is probably to prevent the scab from ever forming. And that applies to whether you're dealing with an incision or whether this is a traumatic cut or abrasion. But let's talk about what a scab really is first. So it's essentially just a protective layer of crust made up of blood and platelets that helps stop the bleeding in that area. And as that area dries, a scab forms. Now that scab has helped to form a protective layer of the underlying area as it heals, so it protects it from infection. So why would you want to prevent that? Well, in facial plastics, when there are incisions, I don't like scabs because they tend to burrow in between the two edges of the fresh skin and it can widen the scar. So when I think about scabs, I just see widening scars, even when it comes to traumatic cuts. And I think there's a better way to treat those areas, and that's by hydration. I love applying antibiotic ointment to the affected areas pretty liberally. Things like Neosporin, Bacitracin, or Bacterban are perfect. And these products help to stop the bleeding and prevent crusting from forming by keeping them wet. And that prevents the scab from widening the scar. And the ointment can be applied several times a day and it should be kept really sloppy wet. Uh, and that'll make sure it heals as good as it possibly can. Now if you already have a scab, it's probably best not to pick it, but instead check with your physician. Because if you pull off the scab, you might tear off the skin underneath or even cause bleeding. But you can still hydrate the scab by putting ointment on top of it. And that'll make it come off quicker. Now once the incision or traumatic cut isn't raw or scabbing anymore, don't use the antibiotic anymore. Uh, ask your physician about what other topical products you can use, like sunblocks or topical scar guards like Mederma or silicone sheets. Sunblocks help by preventing hyperpigmentation by the sun exposure in a very actively healing wound, while the scar guards help to hydrate the scar uh, while encouraging scar remodeling and softening. So I hope that helps, but if you have any other questions about healing or you have a poorly healed scar, email us directly at info at or visit our website at drandavia.com.